Serving with the 101st Airborne, Major Dick Winters participated in the largest seaborne invasion in history, D-Day. Under the command of Lieutenant Thomas Meehan, Winters served as XO of Easy Company. By the beginning of June 1944, after three years of rigorous training, Lieutenant Winters was ready to fight. The Airborne's objective on D-Day was to parachute into Normandy hours before the invasion, to secure the roads leading to the shoreline, and obstruct the enemy's effort to reinforce their beach defenses. At 1.15 a.m. on June 6, the company command aircraft was shot down, killing everyone on board, including Lieutenant Meehan. Winters landed off target, losing his weapon on the jump. It, it tore right off because we jumped at speeds of 150 miles an hour, maybe even higher, I don't know. As Winters had studied the terrain intricately, it didn't take him long to get back on course. After regrouping with the rest of the battalion and with Meehan killed in action, Winters was now the de facto leader of Easy Company. Later that day, Winters led an assault on Braycourt Manor, successfully destroying a battery of German artillery weapons that were firing directly onto the beaches. Corner, Milwaukee, Louise, secure that gun! The actions of Winters and his men saved the lives of hundreds of soldiers who were landing at that exact moment. He was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross the following day. Thereafter, Winters was assigned full command of Easy Company. He led them through numerous battles against the Germans. By the end of the war the following year, Winters, promoted to Major, had risen to command the entire battalion having earned the respect of all those who served alongside him. Winters was honorably discharged from the army after the war and led a quiet, peaceful life. In 2001, he gained worldwide recognition when his heroic actions were portrayed in HBO's Band of Brothers miniseries. God bless you. I'll see you in the assembly area. The letter that Mike Rennie wrote me I cherish the memories of a question my grandson asked me the other day when he said, Grandpa, were you a hero in the war? Grandpa said no. But I served in a company of heroes. Major Winters died in 2011 at the age of 92. His assault tactic at Braycourt Manor on D-Day is still taught at West Point to this day. His legacy lives on 